Good morning. It's Tuesday the 12th of April. Over the years, Sarah and I have had some great holidays in different parts of Europe. We've done all of our journeys on public transport, which has meant some long train journeys, some bus journeys, and even once or twice travelling by boat. We've been to Spain, France, Italy and Switzerland. And we've discovered that while the Swiss train service runs like clockwork, the Italian, tra tra the Italian train service is a little bit more laid back. There's something I've really appreciated over the years about being able to walk from our house in England to the local station and then get on a number of different trains before stepping off in Barcelona or Rome or the French Alps. Of course, it all takes time. And often we've spent all day travelling and even had an overnight stop. It does mean thinking differently about the travel and not simply seeing it as a means to an end to get to a particular place, but appreciating the journey as part of the holiday and valuing both the scenery outside the train and the people you encounter inside the train. We've journeyed through some amazing scenery over the years, seen some wonderful sights and encountered some very interesting people. Holy Week is for me a journey. We journey with Jesus on this most difficult week for him. We recognise something of the suffering he went through on his path to the cross. The temptation is simply to see it as a means to an end. We want to get the journey over with in order to get to Sunday, which is our joyful destination. I would encourage us this week, however, not to rush the journey, to take time to remember the first events, the events of the first Holy Week, and to be mindful of the suffering going on in our world at the moment. Remember to see the sights. Think about the woman pouring perfume on Jesus' feet. What was the smell like? How must it have felt for Jesus? How must it have felt for that woman? Think about Jesus washing his friend's feet, his humility, his compassion, his care. Think about the Last Supper, the taste of the bread and the wine, the change in mood as Jesus speaks about his betrayal and death. Think about the events of Jesus' trial, his mockery and ridicule, the journey to the cross. Remember those who helped him and those who let him down. And be aware of those who we journey with today, those who feel betrayed and let down in Ukraine, those suffering because of Covid, those imprisoned for their beliefs, those who show great care and compassion to others, and those who need to be shown care and compassion themselves. How are the events of Holy Week being lived out in our world and in our community? May this Holy Week journey be meaningful for all of us. May we be prepared to enter into the depths of its meaning. May we be reminded of the pain of the journey that Jesus took and the pain of so many in our world. There is joy to come on Sunday, but we need to go through this week in order for the resurrection to have its true meaning. Let's pray. Loving God, journey with us in this most holy of weeks. Remind us of all that Jesus went through and open our eyes to the suffering of the world. We look to the hope of Sunday, which will be all the more powerful in light of this Holy Week journey. Amen.